a bit of a sad start to the day. A broken doll's leg. It's a bead. Found a bead. Think how small here. What does that look like? It oh. could just be like a hand from a figure, a broken. Do you want my tool? Yes, please. It could just be like a bottle of broken figurine. Oh, it is. Look at that, look, it's beautiful though. That really looked like one of those pipes, what they called. Meersham. Mm. But it is beautiful though, look. It is. It's got roses. That could be a really nice centerpiece of like a something. Something. But look. Oh. Huh? <laughs> it did look like a Meersham very pipe. promising. <laughs> but that is still beautiful and really detailed. Okay, can you see it? Oh, I don't have my tool. Oh, there's also some lovely noise going on. Okay. Oh, no, I don't. It's fine. It just popped out. Is it? <gasps> oh, my goodness. Oh, yes. Okay, it's been a while since we've had one of these up. Oh, wow. And I have one a bit like this. I have a, a clay pipe with a, uh, a ship and an anchor on it. But this one is so much, oh sorry, but this one is so much more detailed and it's in better condition because the other one I have is all, has been in a fire. So there's a ship with nine sails and it's got like wave detailing and this beautiful, and a beautiful anchor with like rope. Obviously it's not got a stem, but oh my goodness, that is so beautiful. What an excellent start. Okay. <laughs> wow. That is that. What is that? Oh, wow. That's beautiful. I think it's glass. I don't know what that would have been. I don't think it was a button. It might just be like an embellishment. It's black glass. It's like morning jet, French jet. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. Isn't it so, like the waves at the bottom under the ship? Look at the waves. Isn't it? And the other one I've got was like burnt, wasn't it? But this one is. Yeah, that's really good condition. And it's so small. It's a shame it's got its it's, stem. it's stem, yep. But we don't find pipes of stems. No. <laughs> or if we do, they're plain. I've had that. Oh! It's glass. Wow! It looks like it's plastic, doesn't it? It, it looks like a, um, like a BB gun pellet yeah. thing, but it's glass. Yeah, so I think it's sort of a embellishment for. A... Yeah, part of like some French jet. Morning sort of, jewelry or yeah, something? Sort of button, no. no, that's beautiful. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's quite funny. I think it's one of the lines of Oscar's pot. <laughs> that would be good for craft. It's like a little lion cabbage on. Maybe it's not the line off of it then. Because there's another piece of the pot. I'm going to get the other line out. Okay, yes, it probably is the same line. It's a bead. A little yellow bead. Ooh, blue in the wind. Ooh. 
It's a tiny capsule. Very pleasant. Oh, I've got a bit. Is that a hoof? Such as woody. Just be woody. A few things in this place, this spot. There is a tiny, tiny blue bead. A button. Just got something on it, but it's a bit melted. And a lens. Nothing else in this spot. It's another white bead. Pair of beads again. Oh, <laughs> and a broken little doll's leg. <laughs> okay, this is quite a productive area. Just stay here a minute. pretty piece of pottery. Oh look, it's got a little farmer. I think he's sat reading something with his cows. That's beautiful. I guess it was a lid. Sorry about the uh, noise, there's some important work going on. But I think this is a really melted bottle stop. It is. It's the sun. It's a really melted glass bottle stop. I wonder if it'll still fit. Do we have any melted bottles we could put a melted bottle stop into? I think so. Oh, I'll have to keep an eye out for... I think I might. I hope that noise isn't too loud. <laughs> isn't too loud. I'm just going to have to check if this is hot because, you know... Oh, Mum's got the tool with her. Broken. So it's May Davis. Westminster. It's in London. And it's fine, the top is not in I've just broken that off. But I can very easily just stuff it back down. Looks like that could be a broken doll's cup very oh oh no it's not whole you couldn't drink anything out of that my hands super dirty now I apologize but I wonder well, that was from probably good for a craft though just the barest hint of a little nose and teeth <laughs> oh might come in handy to rebuild one though this which is just I think it's just a four hole button but we figured out a way that we can clean these and it might end up having might be a fly button it might have some cool information that we can research so it looks like that could be another button with something on it oh it's still got the shank see. So it's still got its shank and I can make out a tiny star on it. You see the tiny star? As is always the way, can you see it? 
it's going to be something really cool. But it's going to be missing its head. Oh my goodness, how fancy and dandy is he? Oh wow. I can't see any markings on it. Look at that little figurine, he's got his purple cuffs. He's just with no head around here, although it's very unlikely. But you never know. No head. But look at his fancy outfit. He's got quite a pork belly. He's got little black shoes. Gosh, sorry. He's got some fancy clothes on. Oh, I wonder what sort of head he would have had. Oh, an, arist an aristocrat. Sorry, that was my hair. Got Tottenham. Lagerby Hall? Or would it be Lagerbeer Hall? Oh, I might take that and look that up. It's a lovely piece of pottery. Reclining. Another part of a broken doll's leg, but we can stick that on another bit. That looks suspiciously like. Oh, it was a button! Look at that morning button! That's beautiful! It's like a kite. Definitely the day of the tiny things, for me anyway. <laughs> Talking of the tiny things, I mean, I'll put my finger next to it. Look how tiny that bead is. <laughs> oh my goodness. Definitely gonna have to put that in my box. Rather than my pocket. Okay, that's weird. I stood up because I thought I'll do an overview. As you do, sometimes you get a bit sucked in. And you see it? Hey, it's a whole one. It's a leg. It had to come. I found three broken bits. Had to find one. Yay. It's a stone marble with a dink out of it. I actually found a bead. It's my first bead of the day and it's this beautiful white. It's sort of a bit cracked but it's still complete. Yeah, it's almost um, like opalescent. And there's a tiny mum in the background. wonder if that's a bead. Or a button. Oh, <laughs> that doesn't help. <laughs> Not sure, it's either. Maybe it was a button, or it's a carajon, or it's the end of a hairpin, or <laughs> I'm not sure. But it's cute. It's a very fancy lid. That's weird. <laughs> I found a post office seal here. And now I know what they are. <laughs> okay, that's a bit sad. Look, here's a part of a, obviously a figurine or a doll. The hair, and then look. There's some more of the hair. Ah, oh, 
Where's the rest? <laughs> That's a cute little lid. Definitely got a pot that that can go on, probably. Only got a little bit out of it. Oh, it's got a little, little, little knob. It's not very exciting, but I do like to find them. Anything? I don't think so. Marks or something. Broken, but it's a watercolour paint pan. this adorable piece of pottery though, which is sort of like willow pattern, but it's got funky colours. It's like orange, blue, purple and red. That's beautiful. I really like that. A red paint pan. It's not supposed to be, but it's just sort of... Maybe it is. Probably. It's beautiful. One day we'll have enough to make what we plan to make with these. <laughs> so now that the weather's nice again, we can have lunch again because it's not... Oh, what a beautiful little mother oh, of pearl button just found. Oh, and there's just a bead. Oh, what a good spot to choose to have lunch. Just in there. You go. <laughs> That's my kite-shaped button. Oh my goodness! There's a name for that shape, isn't there? Wow. Like a like a chevron? No. Well, it's a, no. That's a. Term, oh, it's a. Yeah, it's a rhombus. Is it? Is it? Yeah. I'm not good at maths. I'm to find out. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Is it what I think it is? Have you got a camera? I think it is! Oh my goodness! It's a tiny wow, arm! It's minuscule! Has it actually got the end on it? No, it's broken. broken, but we can... Um, that would go on um, Frank! Oh, that would go on Frank! Look at this tiny arm! I've never found one that small. Never found an arm that small. Need another one now. I think actually we have. Have we? Mm-hmm, at Treasure Beach. That's so funny, can you find someone say? I need a one, it's the only limb I found today. Is that a tooth? It is! Oh no, Kate, you better film it. Is it? Yeah. This one's filming. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Stop it. Just eat your lunch. <laughs> I'm going to do this. And I've just found a tooth. Is it got a hole? A plaster or anything? Or? It's got a slight sort of indent in the back. <laughs> it's another tooth. Okay. We are going to have enough um, teeth to make a mouth. To fill a mouth. That's a veneer. They would have oh, that's the a veneer. The, the boat's going. Oh my goodness. That is beautiful. That is the thickest mother of pearl button I've ever found. 
That's beautiful. That makes me so happy. It has been so long since especially I have found one of these. Is it gonna be whole? <laughs> oh my goodness. What a funny shape. Wow, it's got some sort of boot on, I think. But it's it's complete, it's something slightly shape on the end, but it's got his foot. <gasps> oh my goodness, that is so amazing. We were it's been a while since we'd found one and we've got all these dolls that we're making and we're gonna start running out, but there is a right leg. It's probably broken, it's just the side of a Oh, I think it's a pig. Oh, he's still got his eye. This tiny little pig. Oh, that's such a shame. You seem to be finding a lot of pigs recently. Do you think this looks like a ring, Kate? It's shaped, isn't it? Maybe. Yeah, and it's like... Oh, possibly. Wow. Is it an interesting first find? More sponge wear. I've found one Tiny weeny seed bead. If I can pick it up. <laughs> Tiny. Oh, is it? A white one. Look, I found this very bright green one. Tiny. Good for necklaces for dolls, though. And eyes for creatures. Oh, that's another one. <laughs> On a roll. Nice. Why? Oh, that's why we hang around in the little places. It's a beautiful leg. big for a seed bead white one. Mainly whites today. I know. Yeah. Usually it's black. Oh my word. Oh my word, what is that? Is that? Oh my gosh, I thought it was some coral. Is that a tiny cat? Dolls needed a cat in the doll's house. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at his little face. He's got a paw missing. Oh my word. <laughs> that might be one of my favourite things I've ever found. He can live in the doll's house. <laughs> Will it? <laughs> hey, it's beautiful when it's not focusing. Push the button. 
I'm just going to focus again. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is beautiful. She's a ginger cat for the doll's house. That makes the, the, the trip all worth it. His little face is so funny. Such an unusual cat face. He can sit next to the fireplace. Oh, we're going to do the doll's house, aren't we? Yeah, and he's a little ginger one. That is beautiful. Well done. <laughs> Course it fastener, always good for craft. <laughs> Tiny bead, Tiny blue bead. <gasps> oh, Ooh. look at the detail on that. What do you suppose that is? It's quite heavy metal, it's part of a brooch. But it's got like this detailing with the holes on this end and then this almost looks like flowers. Oh, that's beautiful. Some more. Oh, this is a metal patch. What do you suppose that is? It's beautiful, whatever it is. And look, do you suppose that's a soldier's chest? Oh, there might be a soldier's back with his belt. Beautiful iridescence on that glass. So there's a metal thing in here. And I can read Paintant. And then on the top, there's another word, and it's still got like the little screws in. So, and it's got a really beautiful patina. So, I might try, get that home and try and straighten it out carefully and see what it says. Let's see if I can see what it says now. I think it says Rippin' Giles Paintant. So, I wonder what would have been in there. Oh, that's beautiful though, and it will probably, like, hopefully, we can clean it up nicely. A beautiful glass clap of cabochon. It's very, is it cabochon? I'm not sure actually what that is. I thought it was, but it's. Hmm. I don't know what that is. Of a bird. That looks like something. It's almost like a puzzle trying to figure out what that was. So I assume it's like a little. Oh, it's a little table. That's some like a bowl of fruit. That's a, would have been a jug. This is a little bowl of food, and these are two arms sat at the table. Oh, we can definitely. Put a new person sat eating dinner on that. That would be super cute. Do you see that down there? I've never seen anything like it. What colour is it? So it's a bottle stop. Is it green? Oh wow, it is a green glass bottle stop and uh, not like a, a fancy decorative one, just a, an ordinary glass bottle stop, but it's green. Wow, it goes with all the, the green of my nails and the green of the seaweed. <gasps> wow, we've never found a glass stopper like this that's another colour. The sun's gone in. <laughs> but it's a super deep green. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> How awesome. Yes. <laughs> that's someone's hand. <laughs> tiny, 
Tiny bead. I may need the tweezers for that. Tiny, tiny bead. Oh, like a reef. It, yeah. That would have been like a piece of jewellery. Yeah, a piece a, of a furniture. Oh, piece of furniture. I'd say it could have been like a furnishing embellishment. Beautiful though, isn't it? It's is very beautiful. That's quite cute. <laughs> the dog's face. I think it must be the dog living in the house of Jack built. I love these pieces of children's cups, plates. It's a shame. I've broken arm. Oh, plopped it. I've <laughs> broken arm. It's a bird's bum. On the way out, found a tiny glass blue swan head. was a double trip to our favourite beach and I think we found some really lovely things. What is your favourite, Mum? Oh, I, I'm... Oh. <laughs> That's quite difficult. I mean, I like the lion's head. I mean, it, it's perfect for jewellery. I mean, it would make an amazing ring. It really, really would. <laughs> um, but it's... It, it's off of these. Yeah, we'd, we'd never really found any of these. And now every time we go, we seem to find a piece of the whole one that Oscar found, which is a foie gras dish. But it's kind of, now you can see how that it was applied. It was a separate piece, which I suppose it would have been, well, obvious, but. Now we just need to find a lid to one of those yeah. pots. Yeah, <laughs> that'll be next. But yeah, I think I'm going to try and make some jewellery out of that. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's a ready-made cabochon. I think it's fairly obvious what my favourite find is. <laughs> and it, 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 it has to be this tiny little Victorian doll's house cat. Because that, that must be what it is. It must be a it doll's must be house tiny. cat. It's so small. It's missing a paw, two paws, but and a whole arm. But it's got a little, like, wrinkly, furry belly... I think it's hand painted with the little face and it yeah, it's absolutely precious. I we always talk about wanting to find cats, but I did never consider that we'd find a a cat this tiny. Mm. It's like frozen Charlotte size, but it's a tiny little ginger cat and it's going to live in the doll's house and it might be yeah, might be my favorite thing in the doll's house. It's just sat in some seaweed, mm -hmm. just waiting to be picked up. And I also really like the clay pipe bowl that I found with the ship, really beautiful wave detailing, and then an anchor and rope. A glass green stopper. And we have a lot of glass stoppers, but we've never found just the generic shaped ones in a, in a different green. colour no. other than glass or uh, <laughs> other than clear or aqua. So this is a green one. Quite rare. They are quite rare. I know you can get them in amber and cobalt blue as well. But yeah, I'll have to put it in a bottle. Mm. Headless man, which I'm sure we'll put a head on. Maybe he can be on the mantelpiece in the doll's house. Found some limbs. It's always good to find a limb. I have a whole milk bottle full of limbs which you'll see in a film in a minute when I make something like a new doll at the end of this film but yeah we, we do have many more limbs than that but obviously we They're use them dolls. to make dolls you found a, a new and 
other tiny arm we need for Frank, so we're going to fix Frank now. Well, not now, but <laughs> Frank will be fixed. He will have arms. Yeah. It's my little swan's head. He's lost the tip of his beak, but it's again it would be making amazing jewellery. It would. It's blue milk glass. Swan's head. We just found lots of small things, didn't we? I found what could be a ring. I found part of a ring. I'm not sure if it is a ring or not, but I think it is. I think it's a very simple ring, but that's the first ring I've found. Might be able to fix it. Mm. Put a garnet in it. Mm. <laughs> Mum's beautiful morning morning piece, something morning quite jet black glass, yeah. Beautiful. So a rom it, this is just this shape is just called a kite. Is it? A rhombus is when it's equal. Oh, okay. So we weren't far off. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a button, isn't it? Yeah. Beautiful. Beads, one that looks like a padre bead. Big white one. This, that's a mysterious item. I little, don't know what that is. Nubbin on top. It's got a, yeah, a little nubbin and a little kind of dip and one edge. Hmm. It's not where anything's broken off, is it? No, it's, just... it's made like that. Selection of tiny beads in different colours. The yellow one's nice. A tooth, a veneer. Those are all other ones in this pot. He's really building up a collection of human teeth. So that one will be going in there. My beautiful decorative metal reef that Mum thinks is a uh, furniture mount. A furniture mount, which uh, we're looking at pictures. That's what it could be. I'm thinking maybe I'll make it into a picture frame in the doll's house. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. Mm. Put a picture in it. <gasps> a family portrait. <laughs> of the dolls or us? To, of, the do <laughs> of the dolls, and we'll keep on having to change it when we make more dolls. <laughs> I'm going to put a family portrait yeah. of the dolls in there. Or a picture of their cat. <laughs> Maybe I'll paint a tiny picture of their cat and put it in there. That was quite funny when I found that little, little hand. Again, that would make a nice brooch or something. It, it would. A little person sat at the table, which I'm sure we'll fix. That's and quite funny. At some point. A little plate of like, It's either uh, rolls or eggs. It's got to be eggs. I'm going bread rolls, dinner What's rolls. Potatoes? <laughs> this is Ripping Giles Paintant, and Ripping Giles was a, were, a stove and oil lamp company. So I'll put some pictures up of what they looked like and the dates. So yeah, I imagine that, way. I guess that probably came off a a stove, it's a bit big for an oil lamp, or maybe... Mm, maybe it's a, bit, a yeah. bit small for a stove. Mm, well, <laughs> <laughs> but I really like the patina on it, it's beautiful. It's good for some craft, something. Yeah. Like a little window onto a little box with it. <gasps> Ooh, yeah. Like a um, shadow box. Yeah. Like a yeah. little driftwood box. I think box. it's really beautiful. We could make a little driftwood... Okay. We'll do that. <laughs> Again, thinking. <laughs> Mum's glorious little lid. Oh. It's got a hole. It's a bit of a tea, I think, a teapot. Incense? Uh, no, because it's only got one hole. It's very delicate. How it survived. It is crazy. Yeah. Um, these... I found these two of my favourite pieces of china I found. I mean, the dog, I love to find. We found a dog and a cat before, didn't we? We did. And it was from... Similar child. The, dogs, yeah. the dog that ate the cat. No, that chased the cat, that ate the rat. There's the house the Jack built, which yeah, is what yeah. this one is. Yeah, the, the, <laughs> the dog that chased the cat, that ate... The rat. That, that killed the rat, that ate the malt. That... Something in the house the Jack built. <laughs> So we have a couple of thank yous to say today. So we have to send a massive thank you to Scott and Becky who have sent us things in the past and if whenever a parcel is on the way from them it, the excitement is 
immeasurable and they really outdid themselves <laughs> this time. So st start with possibly yeah, I mean I'm just gonna yeah. just gonna show it <laughs> and they sent us a big frozen Charlotte <sighs> with a really beautiful face and she would actually float because she's, she's yeah glazed on one side and raw on the other so yeah she would float in water because quite a lot of them were made to play within the bath yeah. mm. and so she's gonna join our frozen charlotte collection we're thinking about building a bed for the doll's house so that they can all like make Limit. a metal bed that all the charlottes can stay in so she will be going in there and we absolutely love her and the the squeals that came out when we opened the box and saw her because she's so big and then another member is this beautiful beautiful girl is it a girl could be, could be a boy could be a boy which is good because we only have one boy we don't have many boys in the i mean frank will go there he's a guy he's a boy so yeah he is he's another a great example of how they would attach the sort of arms we found in this video. And oh, he's, they're just such satisfying things. We it's absolutely... beautiful. This little dandy man, which is very similar to the one, to the one I found. I think he's a cake topper, though. Do you think? Maybe. Maybe yours I think was. He's bisque. They sent us a selection of vintage sewing sort of paraphernalia, like these beautiful best glass head steel pins from Germany, and it, oh, they're just, <laughs> they're so amazing, and like this beautiful sort of silk strawberry pin cushion set, just all really beautiful antique sewing for our dolls and bears like this tiny little uh, Germ uh, German bear and he's so sweet and he's gonna sit with a wonky wonky wonky's bear they sent Oscar a treasure box but Oscar's not here at the moment he is on a school trip so we'll have to get him to look through that and that beautiful selection of beaded vintage, which is an example of the sort of thing why we find so many seed beads because of beautiful stuff like this. Yeah, it's absolutely stunning. We're going to put some of it in the doll's house, aren't we? Mm, we need to have a doll's house film. Yeah. And then they also sent us a wonderful collection of vintage doll clothes and baby clothes and like little skirts which will be perfect for when we make our bigger dump dolls. It's like a little capelet and a little apron. It's just absolutely wonderful and we will obviously be showing this in more detail when it comes to when it comes to a doll film, but it's... Look at that, that's so sweet. And you sweet. can feel the age when you're holding it, and it's just... What little girls dressed up their oh, dolls in all these beautiful clothes. So yeah, we will be... And they sent us a dress that we will be using now to make a doll. And we will also be reading out um, the wonderful poem that Becky has written. She has written another wonderful poem and we do like her poetry. <laughs> we also have to thank the wonderful Cat Box Shop, one of our Patreons, because she has been sending us gifts from Amazon, like some incredibly helpful bottle brushes and this amazing hand cream and like a nail manicure set and a mushroom poster for me and yeah, just really helpful, wonderful gifts. And the latest one are these. And they are some tiny mushroom lights. And they look like mushrooms. And they are perfect 
for the crafting station. So thank you so much, Kat. All of the gifts are very much appreciated. You also have to thank Richard for his wonderful gifts, which will be we have big plans for. And Nick and Jane for the wonderful storage boxes, which will come in very handy. All that's left is to say a massive thank you to all of our wonderful viewers, subscribers, commenters, our wonderful Patreons, all our Kofi donors. It really does make a world of difference, everything you do, and we really appreciate it. inspired <clears throat> this week to do things for the doll's house um, and to make the doll um, by a lovely present that we've received including some of these dolls, vintage doll's clothes um, this kid fabric I think it's kid is going to be really good for her body I mean it's a bit um, dirty but I quite like that because she's a bit dirty and this again was sent to us by a lovely viewer. See, Bitsy's head is just um, to the chin because she was broken across here. I mean, there's a bit of it under there, but this one is... Oh, she's much bigger. I didn't realise. She's the same sort of doll, but she's a bit bigger. This doll is different and is complete. The one I've been looking at, these dolls, old original dolls, um, I think their arms were put in before the head was put on and they were just glued underneath this breastplate. So you don't have to sew up the top of the arms, you just glue them under, under here. So that's what we will do. Um, how long do we want these arms? One arm's out, I have to turn it inside out, which is always fun. Okay, I've learnt, I've turned it inside out at last, <laughs> it took a while, but I've learnt that you best not put too much stuffing in your arms because they stick out at an angle, and that's a learning curve that I'm followed. Now we need to sew the arm onto the top of the body. Time to stick our head on other arms. I think they probably would have done this with some sort of horse glue or something. <laughs> Not very nice. There's a top I've done. I have to do her legs. Look. Two legs. Mm, I have to 
Alexis have her legs on? She's done. Now I have to get her dressed. She is a quite a lot bigger, Bitsy. Bitsy looks like a child compared to her. <laughs> I'm going to dress. See how this works. She is. Yep, did I make her pantaloons or not? It's quite cute like that. Too, we? We've got a few things to do. Oh, yeah. Boy, <laughs> oh, the mouse and the cat. The cat and the mouse. Oh my gosh. I love it. Frayed away. Do you have a new purpose for me? It's been so long that I've been tucked away. So wonderful to see the light of day. Do you have a new purpose for me? My fabric has stood the test of time. How many stitches hold me together? Oh, the redundancy. What patterns, what types? Oh, the originality. Do you have a new purpose for me? I'm showing my age. My stitches are frayed, but new life it is before me. Your loving hands will snip and mend and give my life new meaning. I'll proudly adorn the shoulders I'm on and show them off quite nicely. Take care, my friends. Enjoy the day and always keep the fray away. By Becky Boss. I know, isn't it heartbreaking? Oh, no. If only... Just his head. Just his head. Look how fancy and dandy he is. Oh, he would have made an amazing chess piece. He would have made an amazing chess piece. We, we, there must be something we could do. Yeah, I was saying, I'm not sure we've even got a head small enough. No. Can you put him in your bag safely? Cucumber's good, though. Uh huh. Right, well, I didn't bring a drink, so we've got watermelon, cucumber. Yeah. Fluff. <laughs> well, yeah, because I've got three in my hand right now, and I know. <gasps> oh. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That's a sea of multi.